Jamie Oliver wants the government to impose a pre-9 p.m. ban on broadcast adverting for fast food restaurants and unhealthy snacks, as well as tightening restrictions on their promotions. However, Saturday Kitchen regular, Matt Tebbett, doesn't agree with the father of five stunts. When asked what he thought of Jamie's opinions on banning fast food adverts and making junk food more expensive, he exclusively told Express.co.uk, There probably is an argument for banning adverts, but where do you draw the line? Matt explained there are other ways to combat obesity which doesn't result in those on low incomes suffering. He said, I think, sin taxes are just another kick in the teeth for those on low incomes. It would be far better to focus on the quality of the food and maybe introduce minimum levels of nutritional value into products and just take the really shocking stuff off the shelves altogether. Matt believes education is the way forward in tackling the crisis with children learning how to cook in schools. Education is key and kids should come out of school being able to prep and cook fresh vegetables, make their own soup and an omelette, all the sort of basic stuff that doesn't cost a lot but keeps you healthy, he divulged. The 44-year-old said the quality in food needs to improve instead of simply focusing on taxing fast food. Matt continued, you should have to pay a bit more for quality, not only to reward the producers who make an effort, but to make things clearer for the consumer. Instead of taxing pizza to raise the price as a deterrent, why not just increase the quality of it and charge a little more? That seems more logical to me. Hopefully encouraging people to eat a bit less but better quality, Matt has a jam-packed summer. Coming up as he will be performing live cooking demonstrations at Big Festival in August. The chef revealed he will be rustling up some summery dishes at the event, which is held at Alex James Farm in the Cotswolds. He spilled, I'll be cooking some great fresh and summery dishes on the main stage and there's also a queue. If you have anything you're dying to ask me, despite doing live demonstrations in front of a huge crowd, Matt admitted he won't get too nervous, I don't mind doing demos these days, now that I'm used to it, he said, but it does help if there's a bit of banter going on and interaction with the audience, my demos are pretty informal so. I do manage to stay fairly relaxed. Matt will be joined at the festival by fellow Saturday Kitchen chef Andy Oliver and Master Chef 2017 winner Salih Mahmood Ahmed plus many other big stars. Tickets for the Big Festival, which takes place on Friday the 24th of August to Sunday the 26th of August, are available now on www.thebigfestival.com.